the most interesting bodies in the solar system is a moon. The largest moon of Saturn called Titan. Unlike any other moon, Titan has a very thick atmosphere and astronomers believe that there is water on this planet. Let's get closer to Titan and take a better look at it. Saturn has more than 140 moons, but most of these moons are very small. But Titan is the largest and most interesting one. The diameter of our moon is 3,474 kilometers, but Titan is 50% larger and it has a diameter of 5,150 kilometers. It is also the second largest moon in the solar system. Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system, which belongs to Jupiter. But these moons, including Titan, is much bigger than you think. Like for example, Mercury, the first planet of the solar system, is smaller than Titan. What type of gravity does Titan have? Because it's extremely important for life. There is gravity on Titan, but it's only 14% of Earth's gravity. So it's extremely low gravity. If you compare it to the moon, our moon has even more gravity at 17% of Earth's gravity. But this doesn't make sense, we thought Titan is unique, it has gravity, and there's a chance we could live on it. As you know, Saturn is extremely far from the Sun, so it means it has extremely low temperatures, and that means Titan is very cold, right? This is correct, because on Titan you can only find rocks and ice. But physicists believe that under these layers of rocks and ice, there is an ocean and that might mean there is life in these waters because anywhere there is liquid water, there is a chance that life could exist. But these are all theories because you can't be 100% sure that under these layers there is an ocean. In the year 1997, NASA and the European Space Agency worked together to design and create a probe to send to Saturn to study the planet and its moons. A probe that you might have heard of called Cassini. Cassini was mainly designed to study Saturn, but another body that's next to it was Titan. And that was also important. And a lot of the information we have on Titan is thanks to Cassini. Unlike many planets, Titan does not have a magnetic field. So if any solar storm happens, Titan is screwed. But the thing is, the big planet next to it named Saturn has an extremely strong magnetic field that protects all its moons, including Titan. So it is safe from solar flares. Just like how the moon is tidal locked to Earth, Titan is tidal locked to Saturn. So you could only see one side of it. And each rotation, it only rotates around itself once. But the thing is, Titan rotates around Saturn every 15 days. And our moon rotates around Earth every 27 days. But every new moon to new moon is 29 and a half days. And that's basically where the month comes around. Have you ever seen pictures and photos on the moon where the sky is black? Why is that? The reason the sky stays black on the moon is because there is no atmosphere. When there is no atmosphere, it's basically like being in a vacuum. There is starlight, but it doesn't shine on anything. The reason we have blue skies is that our atmosphere turns the sunlight into a beautiful blue color and scatters it around the world so you can see a blue sky. So it's thanks to our atmosphere that turns the sunlight into a blue color instead of a never-ending black color. 
On Titan, the atmosphere is so thick and dense that you can't even see what's going on on the planet and if you were on the surface, you couldn't even see the sky. But when the sunlight hits this dense atmosphere and you were there to experience it, you would see a greenish yellow color because the atmosphere is that color. The thickness of Titan's atmosphere is insane because it's seven times the density of our atmosphere. A lot of scientists, astronomers, physicists believe that there is a chance that life could exist on Titan, but not on its surface, underneath the ice and rock where there might be an ocean, even though this planet rotates around itself every 15 days, but its atmosphere rotates around the planet every 9 hours, and that means there are insane storms on the surface of this planet, storms that go hundreds of miles an hour. But what is Titan's atmosphere made of anyways, and why is it yellow? Its atmosphere is made up of 98.5% nitrogen, 1.4% methane, and 0.2% hydrogen. And if you compare it to Earth's atmosphere, it's 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 0.9% gases like argon and other, and 0.04% carbon dioxide. Just like we said, Titan's atmosphere has methane. And you could get methane from two different ways. Volcanoes, or living organisms. There is methane on Titan, but the other two we're not sure of. We're not sure if there's volcanoes or living things. Titan's surface is extremely cold, minus 180 degrees Celsius. And that's why anything that's not rock is frozen. It's interesting to know that when they sent Cassini, they also had a lander named Huygen. Since the atmosphere is so thick on the Titan, they were forced to send the lander to maybe see what's going on on the surface of this moon. So when Cassini got there, it released Huygen so he could finally see what's happening on the surface. This is not a very sophisticated lander like the Perseverance Mars rover. It's a very simple machine and it's designed to take a video and one picture when it lands. And this is that picture. As you can see, it kind of resembles the bottom of a dry ocean, where there are rocks and sand everywhere. Cassini stays for many years around Saturn and Titan to study it, and it even realizes that there is a lake that's not frozen. A lake called Kraken Mar. This is an insanely large lake, over 400,000 square kilometers. You might say that doesn't even make sense since the surface temperature is a minus 180 degrees. But you have to know that these lakes are not made from liquid water. They're made from liquid methane, which stay liquid in this temperature on this moon. Studies have shown that the depth of these lakes is more than a hundred meters. But of course, in the methane, there's no way living beings exist. But there is a chance that underneath the sheets of ice and rock, there could be oceans, and there could be living things in those waters. Cassini got there studied this planet and its moons for many years and after 20 years of service since it had no other options and it was running out of fuel nasa told it to crash into saturn and destroy itself but nasa's job was not finished studying saturn especially its important moon titan after cassini ended they started another project they started designing a drone called Dragonfly. Dragonfly is basically a very sophisticated drone that's being designed to be sent to Titan and fly around the moon and completely study it. And it's going to be much better than the Huygen lander that was sent 20 years ago. The Dragonfly project is designed to be sent out in 2028. But it's going to take a very long time before it gets to Titan. 
it'll take six years, so it'll be there by the year 2034. So three World Cups have to come and go, and then finally, Dragonfly will get to Titan. But it is extremely interesting. Imagine this drone gets to Titan and fly around this moon that is barely known and find new things. And maybe there is a chance that it could find signs of life or maybe ancient life. What do you guys think? Scientists and astronomers think there's a lot going on Titan that we don't know much about. And that's why they're going through all this trouble and spending all this money. 